It's hard to believe that up until about 1955, most places around Puget Sound didn't have any garbage service. And a lot of people either burned their garbage in the backyard or tossed it all in the bay. There wasn't much plastic in those days, so mostly what you threw out tossed in the bay would decompose, the seagulls would eat it, and the glass would get ground up on the beach, and the tin cans would rust away. But the glass on the beach became a subject of quite a bit of interest. Over at Olympic College in Bremerton, where my brother started as an art student, Professor Mr. Blast decided to make a huge mural out of beach glass. These bottles, when they were tossed on the beach, then broke up. And there was green glass and there was red glass and white glass and so forth. And we would pick up these pieces of glass. All summer long, we filled buckets and they created this incredible mural. And it lives on today, you know, it was built up against the math and science building. They thought they were gonna have to destroy it when they tore down the building, but some local folks rescued it and now it's back and looks just beautiful on the campus. And if you haven't seen it, you should go see it because it tells more than one story. It tells the story of mankind in his version, but it also tells the story of us. The fact that we used to just pollute Puget Sound with garbage and lots of bottles and cans and glass, not anymore. And how it could be used creatively even in the 1950s. This truly really is an incredible spot and one of my favorite places. Support for My Favorite Places is provided by the Washington Hospitality Association and by Weatherly Inn, senior living where it's home and your family.